talking basketball. Third pickup of the class of 2020 for Eric Musselman, 6'9", Jalen Williams from Fort Smith. He talked with our Hoops Insider, Kevin McPherson. Well, it's a big day for 2020 Jalen Williams, Fort Smith Northside, big man, and really came down to Arkansas and Auburn, and you made your decision announcement today, Saturday, the 23rd. Talk a little bit about your decision to pick the Arkansas Razorbacks. Um, Arkansas, they have a lot of great coaches up there. Um, it was a really family, family build, chemistry. You could tell everybody was well together. They play hard down there as a team. The team's out there having fun, but it was a hard talk with my family, and it was an easy decision once it got down to the end of it. Now, somebody told me a little rumor that number 23 is your favorite number. I know that's what you wear on the court. Is there some significance? It's not a coincidence you chose the 23rd of November to make this the decision announcement, is it? Yes, it was on purpose. It was all part of the thing. I, I made sure I put it on the 23rd, tried to make it as close to 2.30 as I could to get that 23 in there, too, but that was all part of the plan. Let's talk about your emergence on the national scene. Rated number 69 in the country, a high-level four-star. Really on the Nike UIBL circuit, you were the second-leading rebounder, averaged a double-double through the season, and that really puts you on the map. But it came down to Arkansas, Auburn, Texas A&M. had a really good host of schools here. And you talked about what separates Arkansas, but what separates you as a player as you go to the work on your senior season to get to that next level? Really, I want to be more diverse than what other big men are. I want to be able to bring more to the table. I know I'm good down low, so I try to work on my outside shot to expand the floor or but being able to grab that rebound and take it full court for make an open decision for my teammate or do stuff like that. So really, I just try to expand my game to make me more than just an inside big man. And I'm guessing uh, it's no coincidence either that Moses Moody and Devontae Davis are off the board and you guys have been talking to each other. So tell me a little bit about the next plan as far as getting a, one Kalen K.K. Robinson maybe to, to, to join up and make it an Arkansas Fantastic Four. Yeah, we've all been talking, but that's on K.K. to see what he's going to do. So y'all going to have to talk to him. We just talked about Kalen K.K. Robinson, the 6'1 point guard from Bryant. He's playing at Oak Hill Academy, the prestigious basketball school out in Virginia. Now, he's home for Thanksgiving break. I interviewed him earlier. He's going to make his commitment announcement on Thanksgiving Day, the 28th, just a few days away, and it's going to come down to Arkansas and Kansas for him. We just talked about Moses Moody, Devontae Davis. Eric Musman in his first year at Arkansas has a chance to land a, a, a top 10 national recruiting class when the dust settles, and Kalen K.K. Robinson obviously would help fill it out. Another top 100 player from in-state uh, uh, of Arkansas. Now, also looking at Musselman and his team, they go on the road for their first uh, road game uh, against Georgia Tech on Monday of the ACC. But they're out of the gates 5-0. and oh. The defense, everybody knows, has been really good nationally. Everybody knows Mason Jones and Isaiah Joe are kind of the two guys, one, two punch on that perimeter. But look at Jimmy Witt coming on. 24 points, career high the other night. And we know that the game now is a space the floor, three-point shooting game or drive all the way to the bucket. Jimmy Witt's got a mid-range game that's serious. Now, he had then those 24 points. It all came inside the arc. Big game for him is, again, Arkansas. Top three-point defense going up against one of the top three-point uh, shooting offenses in the country. Actually, number one in South Dakota. Arkansas moves past that hurdle again, 5-0, and oh, as the Razorbacks go on the road to, play, to f face the Yellow Jackets in Atlanta. Kevin, great work as always. Thanks very much. And I'll add that those four starting guards for Arkansas there tonight against South Dakota combined for 23 rebounds. All right, after the break, Arkansas going for its sixth straight win. Highlights from an SEC Pac-12 matchup. Limit soups next. Coming up.